Hello and welcome. Now we will move uh, forward and uh, we will uh, move to another section and uh, another essential part of the firewall which is the rules. Now uh, let's go. Uh, firewall has uh, a lot of uh, features but the most uh, important are the really what makes your life easier and managing uh, firewall rules is the aliases or even the NAT aliases uh, is just like rather than say well I want this PC which has 192.168.15.5 let's say okay now we will we want to block it uh, and not reach like YouTube or Facebook or uh, uh, what uh, Google Yahoo anything you want now uh, what if we change the static mapping for this host we need also to go to our firewall and we will uh, change uh, and we will say okay let's permit this let's per deny this and we will change every uh, rule because we change the IP address but now we can do this we can go and we will say well this is uh, uh, let's say new customer or uh, let's say new <laughs> neighbor so our new neighbor which uh, new neighbor new neighbor uh, PC they didn't have they didn't have uh, uh, internet connection and they want to use our connection but we are concerned about uh, video downloading and video streaming so we will uh, we will stop uh, Vimo and YouTube so this host uh, this is will be host record and you can change it to like network you can make a wireless network let's say we will uh, see how we can do that this is host so you can't make uh, any changes it's uh, slash 23 32 32 now this is will be 192.168.15.2 uh, let's say and you can and that's it apply changes okay uh, also you can make let's say uh, this is wireless net wireless network and the description wireless network and this is network and we want to provide network like this is just for the wireless so we need to make like uh, traffic shaping and ruling uh, and everything so just by using one thing now if we change the IP address or the subnet of this network just we need to change the alias and everything will be changed automatically 192.168.100.0 and it will be 24 and uh, we'll provide this and you say save and that's it now the cool thing you can go to the rules or the to the nothing uh, you can go to the NAT and you will say okay we will not uh, port for make port for wording for specific host so we can say let's say we need to make port for wording disable this rule we need to this is the interface rule applies to of course from the one you will make port for wording and the source anything destination uh, destination will be single host or alias 
host or alias will be Nepal isn't that awesome so that's it Nepal destination port now let's say we want to RDB or uh, what what else Isacamp uh, IMAP ICQ I see you or VNC let's say VNC and redirect IP address uh, Uh, this is uh, 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 sorry this uh, for which the the source will this is uh, wrong because here we need uh, to provide the uh, neighbor so uh, from the one what's the source of the packet so the source will be anything the source port will be something because you need to provide like if it's coming on the let's say vnc uh, forwarded and destination will be the one the one address uh, so uh, destination port is uh, source port like any sorry I'm making a lot of changes anyway source port any uh, source port uh, source uh, destination what's the destination is the one address because it's the public IP address and the VNC is the destination port uh, we will forward it to the neighbor and we will redirect the uh, port for like uh, something not uh, uh, 384 let's say we will make it this no no what's this 103,000 <laughs> like this maybe or maybe like this I don't know but but you will have a specific scenario for this so you will see your needs and you will apply them here but that's it that's everything you need and save oh, valid redirect target port must be specified you didn't provide direct so let's say it's vnc to vnc that's it and you can apply changes but let's let's just we want that's everything you want so I will delete this because I'm afraid that it will change something but let's also uh, provide uh, another thing now from DMZ let's say we have this and we want to provide more and you can uh, go to destination I will say host and we will say neighbors and of course it will be already for us that's it you change everything you can provide every single piece of information this is for aliases and uh, the most important thing about aliases that the port now uh, sometimes we need to uh, change the standard ports so if we uh, specify this information in the rule or in the NAT rule uh, we need to change every piece of uh, rule to to make it work it will take more time more work but if we provide this rule at uh, this port and we will go to like natting as we did uh, last time and we will uh, provide this and we say okay this is coming the na on the one this is TCP this is the source anything and the destination will be the one address and uh, now uh, destination port what's the destination port you can here uh, provide like SSH port SSH port 
So this is the range which is the same port but the most important that was the direct uh, now we can say uh, let's say neighbors and this is the neighbor and then what's the re redirection for this SSH, SSH port now here you can make anything like any port you want okay or not this like this let's say don't know what this uh, <laughs> port used for but now we can redirect to SSH so if we change the port uh, for SSH you can change it for every everybody uh, all together so you see and that's really cool Um, I think this is uh, all uh, everything you need to know about aliases and about this so aliases 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 all the time thank you for listening have a nice time